The 2015 harvest is underway. It couldn't have worked out any better for us in the month of September as far as weather goes. It was just optimal weather conditions for the grapes. We were able to let them hang on the vines for a good 10, 15 days longer than we normally would. And it's just beautiful fruit and looks like it's gonna be a really, really good vintage. They look beautiful this year. We had a nice growing season, so the grapes got a very nice and outstanding maturity. The flavor are there, the balance between the sugar and the acid are here. So we think it's going to be a very nice vintage this year and uh, we are very excited about it. This is all estate grown. We have Gewürztraminer, we have Gruner Ventliner, we have Chardonnay, we have Pinot Meunier. Pinot Meunier is the, the grape that is used in Brut from France. We also have Pinot Noir. We have quite a few different clones of Pinot Noir, and we use different clones for different things. We use some for the sparkling, we use some as a still wine, and some for higher end still wines. And then we also have a lot of Riesling. And then for our Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, uh, we have some vineyards that we work with. For the reds, uh, after we crush them and they, they go through the maceration, we're doing the fermenting at the same time. So we actually start fermenting them, the first fermentation, in the Welch bins while we're pumping the juice over. Tolerance we do between 12 to 16 months for Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. And uh, Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon we will do something like 24 months. Good thing come with time, so we need to take our time to make the wines. The whites will get into the stainless steel tanks after we press them in the form of juice and we'll inoculate them um, with yeast and start the fermentation process right in the uh, stainless steel tanks. We like to let the wine go, so if it wants to ferment in two weeks, we let it ferment in two weeks. If it wants to ferment in ten months, we let it go in ten months. So these are the stainless steel tanks here that have the, the white wine process going on. This is kind of like stage two. Right now, you can see the hose down below here is hooked up directly to the press. So the tray on the bottom where the juice is falling down to is getting pumped into this tank right now. This is all Chardonnay. And then what he'll do is he'll let all the sediment fall down, which are called lees. They'll fall down to the bottom and then he'll rack this or he'll take the juice from the top and move it to another tank so just the lees sit on the bottom and he'll filter it that way. And he'll do that a couple different times to make sure that the juice is nice and clear. So now we're inside the barrel room. This is a, uh, a temperature control, humidity controlled room. And this is you know, primarily where we do the aging of our red wines. The wines will sit into here. You know, like uh, Sebastian was saying earlier, some of the Pinot Noir wines will sit in here maybe only 10 months, 12 months. Uh, some of the Cab Sauvs and Reserves and things like that could sit in here for up to two years. Early in the spring, we'll sit down and we'll come up with kind of our early wish list. And the wish list will be based on what we're trying to make for that year. And then we'll prune the vines accordingly. Once that's done and the wish list is in the books, eh, come midsummer, we'll kind of adjust that a little bit based on you know what we see. And we can actually see the grapes and see what's on there and see what kind of yield and what kind of uh, a product we're going to have. And then we make a final decision in the fall based on, again, supply and demand, weather. Mother Nature dictates a lot of, of what we're going we're to make that year based on the quality in, uh, in fall. Mm -hmm.